Welcome back. Now, it plays computer games over and over again, getting better each time until it learns how to win, much like your teenage boy. But this is a major breakthrough in artificial intelligence. An article in the journal Nature reveals how a computer program has managed to replicate the same kind of learning as a human brain. Our science editor, Tom Clark, reports. It was the late 1970s, and for the first generation of video gamers, Atari was king. By the standards of the day, the graphics were mind-blowing. The sound out of this world. And the selection of games just went on and on and on. Ah, oh. Compared to the video games of today, Atari looks pretty clunky. But the games are still quite difficult to play, especially if you haven't picked one up for 30 years, like me. But it's that exact combination of simple graphics but quite challenging gameplay that's attracted the cutting edge of artificial intelligence researchers back to the 1970s. This version of Space Invaders isn't being played by a person, but a system of computer algorithms that's learning how to play it just by looking at the pixels on the screen. It may not sound like it, but it's something of a breakthrough. The work of one of the finest young minds in AI research, North Londoner Demis Hassabis. We don't actually give any clues to the system about what, what it's supposed to do in the game, what it's controlling, how it gets a score, um, you know, what's valuable in the game, what the right strategies are. It has to learn all those things from first principles. Hassabis shows me his system playing the classic paddle game Breakout. So now, about two hours in, now it can play the game um, pretty much as good as any human, professional human player could, um, even when it's coming back at very fast angles. And then we thought, well, that's pretty good, um, but what would happen if we just left um, it playing for another couple of hours? And then it did this unexpected thing where it found the optimal strategy was to dig a tunnel around the side and send the ball behind the wall, mm -hmm. um, which is obviously, you know, the, the optimal strategy and the safer strategy. Out of 49 completely different Atari games tested, the system played more than half of them better than a human. A simple demonstration of what AI researchers call general, non-trivial intelligence. This is what the essence of intelligence is, is finding structure and meaning in, in, in your perceptual inputs and then being able to act intelligently to make a plan using that model of the world. And that's what this system, and that's what this system does, yeah. So is this a baby step in the rise of the machines? Human level, sentient AI, like that in the unsettling new movie Ex Machina, is still a long way off. Ava. I'm pleased to meet you, Ava. But a programme that can learn computer games isn't far from one that can read the internet, where we humans now store nearly everything we hold dear. The bad guy in this movie is, after all, the founder of the world's most successful search engine company. You're in a private company. Is that transparency there? How would you satisfy somebody that, you know, trust us? Well, I think, I think that's one of the reasons that we've published in, you know, openly. We've put our code out there as part of this uh, Nature paper. Um, but, you know, it is important to discuss some of the, uh, the, the risks and make sure we're aware of those. Um, and, you know, it's decades and decades away before we'll have anything that's powerful enough to be a worry. Um, but we should be discussing that and beginning that conversation now. Cool. Yeah. They've been around since the 1970s and the machines yeah. haven't so taken over yet. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. humanity, watch this space. Tom Clark. That's all from us tonight. We're back at seven tomorrow. Good evening.